all these indicators, you don't have to fully understand them. They're all self-fulfilling prophecies, right? Like, so if enough traders use VWAP, then VWAP matters. If enough traders think that PBYA is like legitimate Tesla news, then it's gonna spike because of traders buying it on Tesla news, even though the press release is a joke. What's up, Tim Sykes here. Maybe you just saw a previous video of mine. Keep watching, keep studying. I've now taken roughly 12 grand, turned it into over 7 million. As of the time of this filming, I have nearly two dozen millionaire students, which is quadruple from around this time last year. It's been an insane year. Um, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're studying. I hope you're staying safe. I want you to learn from every single one of my trades. The good trades, the bad trades, the big trades, the small trades review your own trades too. I'm gonna to post some links to some of my other trades just below this where you can review the trades. I'm gonna post a link to my best-selling book, An American Hedge Fund that I have here. I will give you a free digital copy. Read chapter six. That's where I made over $100,000 in one day. Changed my whole mindset and perspective um, on the world and what I was capable of doing when a college freshman can make uh, you know, a, a yearly salary in just a day or two. And I sold it too soon, would have been nearly 200,000 the next day, but I'm not gonna cry over that. Um, in this video, you're gonna see me dip by PBYA. There's another video that we're gonna link underneath, which is me buying the initial morning spike where I made 40% plus. It broke out to new highs um, at seven tenths of a penny as opposed to where I sold it in the six tenths of a penny range. I'm not great at sub penny plays, but I will trade them if they have the right pattern, the right news, the right catalyst, the right volume. Um, PBYA did. I didn't want to chase the breakout because again, I'm not so comfortable trading sub pennies, but when it broke out and then offered a dip right back to the previous highs, I dip bought it in the high sixes. Um, this wasn't one of my biggest trades at all. I mean, I flipped it. Uh, a little while later, just in the low sevens, I made a very small amount, like a few hundred bucks. Later, it did break out, but we're talking two, three, four hours later, it broke out to the eights. Um, I don't have that patience. So you have to know yourself, right? Like for me, I don't hold stocks for hours or days when I'm already kind of like, eh, I made 40% plus on the morning spike. I'm happy with that. That was my best trade of the day. I'm giving a live webinar. Um, I'm trying to answer questions, so I'm multitasking. I'm not gonna step out of my comfort zone too much, but you have to find your own comfort zone. This is why I make these videos. This is why I post them. I want you to learn from all my trades and learn from all your trades too. Review, 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 optimize, 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 refine, refine, refine. You have to think of yourself as a scientist. Every single trade is a different experiment. And if you do enough experiments over time, you start to find what you're good at, what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are. And that way you want to maximize your strengths and minimize your weaknesses. Some people ask, why don't I short sell anymore? It's not good for my students. I don't believe newbies should be short selling. It's very risky. A lot of these scams, outright scams are spiking pretty high right now. Um, and I don't think newbies should be involved in potentially getting squeezed. I also don't like a lot of stress. I have, like I said, nearly two dozen millionaire students now, so my business has grown dramatically. I'm overwhelmed all the time. Um, so I'm trying to do low stress trades, morning panic dip buys, um, first green day buys, um, dip buying breakouts intraday like this PBYA trade. This is what I do, and it might not be the most profitable. I'm sure that there are ways that I could be more profitable in trading, but I donate all my trading profits to charity. For me, it's about teaching the process. So watch this video, see my process, um, see how I was frankly right about PY, PBYA from the beginning, um, didn't want to chase it, and then you know had a small profit on the dip, but then didn't have enough patience to really see it through. I'm filming this the next day, by the way, and day two, it completely failed. So as of June, 2021, first Green Day plays, maybe a few months ago or a few years ago, would have been really good to hold overnight for day two. June, 2021, first Green Days, I would say 60, 70% of the time are tanking on day two. So the market ebbs and flows, it goes in and out of um, favor with different patterns. You must ebb and flow too. Welcome to being a trader. Watch this video. Leave some comments below. Let me know if you like videos like this where you see me in action with my trades and I try to verbalize my mindset. I was also giving a live webinar. Click the link below. Let me know if you want to be uh, my challenge student. I'm looking for more dedicated students. You tell me how hard you want to study. Choose your dedication level. Cheers. FYI, I'm, you know, I'm just not seeing that many trades right now. Like PBYA, I took the, the meet and the move at the open, WSRC. There were some dip buys, but nothing like truly great. No big panic like we saw on Friday or big bounce. Um, 
repo, you know, there was that dip buy opportunity at 10 or 11 ish, and you could have sold it at 13, 14, but I missed that dip buy and it didn't really run after that. So, you know, there's some potential plays. Let me just make sure I have no, no plays. But PBYA, <coughs> let's just do the math here. 0 0.06, oh wait, 0 .00, 0 0.0065 minus 0 0.0045. That's near best case scenario, and I sold the day high. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. And it double topped at six six also. I'm so red in BTX. BTX? Yeah, we can talk about it. You're red on it? No, no, no. <clears throat> What's wrong with your voice, dude? I don't know. I woke up like this. <clears throat> I woke up like this. BTX and E E N F have the same chart. You notice that? Do they? Ish. Oh, uh, there's just a hell of gap down on that one. Yeah, well BTX didn't go down so much. You're on. You're in BTX from twenty. Nice. Yeah. You're at, you're up ten percent. Yep. You don't want to take it. I'm locking some in as we go. There we go. I just lost some in at twenty two. Good boy. How many shares? At two thousand. Damn! Look at this. Yeah. Well, I'm down to like a thousand, but I had two thousand. Good job. Two Rip Sheik says, I knew it was up $2 a share this morning from pre-market. I did my DD. If you go back to Rip Sheik, you said it was up $3 a share. You were wrong. Accept it. Give me 500 burpees for your stubbornness. You're wasting everyone's time with your eyesight problems. Go to an eye doctor. Emrin was never up $3 a share today. At its peak, it was up $2 a share. You typed in three. I'm sorry you did it. I'm sorry to call you out, but we don't accept any BS here. She, Christina says, nothing wrong with bald men. I don't think there's anything wrong with bald men at all. I, I'm very proud of my newest millionaire student in this baldness. Why are people watching HPIL now saying look at MJWL? I'll tell you the difference. They might be up the same percentage, but MJWL is hitting new highs, all-time highs. HPIL is overextended. Look at the difference. HPIL is hitting new highs, but it is a third green day. It has gone up too much. I would not chase a third green day. MJWL, third green day, but very tight consolidation, a very tight breakout. So when deciding between two setups, I'm not going to chase a play that's looks way too overextended. MJWL, yes, it's the third green day, but it's barely a breakout, barely overextended. That is the difference. Learn to see the difference. Give me 200 burpees. Look at PPYA into the sevens. I just suck at OTCs apparently. <laughs> what was it? No, man. All these indicators, you don't have to fully understand them. They're all self-fulfilling prophecies, right? Like, so if enough traders use VWAP, then VWAP matters. If enough traders think that PBYA is like legitimate Tesla news, then it's going to spike because of traders buying it on Tesla news, even though the press release is a joke. I will teach you guys to think the worst out of all these companies and out of all these traders if it's the last thing I do. The, the first mistake that you can make in this niche is believing these companies and believing that you know anybody or, or any trade is, is amazing, because it's just not. We got partial, what did I get? 7.35 at 6.8 on PBYA. I bought the dip, I didn't chase the breakout.
whoever, whoever asked earlier why isn't LWLG squeezing? Well, it's at uh, 11.20 now. So, squeeze is beginning. Squeeze is being disclosed? Yep. That closing is, is occurring. <laughs> take more questions in a sec. I just got to do this, focus on this trade. Um, you know, so again, PBYA, I'm not a big believer in the press release. Um, I'm not a big believer in sub penny plays, but we saw the breakout. I got the dip, so I'll take it. I'll take what the market gives me. Which stock? It's like SS, yeah, I don't even want to say it. It's so liquid. <laughs> SSMT. It's, yeah. it's very liquid. He's made money on it every day for what? Yeah, I, weeks, whatever weeks. works. Whatever works. Yeah. yeah. You're an animal. <laughs> Emran is now squeezing. Emran's back up $2 oh, a man, share. Got it too. I don't know. Hey, it was the food we had last night. No, I think it's just food. It's the lack of sleep. Yeah, if I'm being completely honest. That's valid. Going out and drinking a few nights too. Monaco doesn't do that. So. PBYA no, now no. failing, but I didn't get like a perfect dip buy, so I might even actually add to this on a greater dip. I'm down one tenth of one penny. I can't even get it at six six. Back to break even. I mean, it's holding the breakout decently. You also have to keep in mind that this is like a midday breakout. Probably could have just doubled up at 6.8, but I don't really want to stress, you know, again, sub penny play is not ideal. So I'm a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I'm, I'm willing to give this play uh, some time just because of the price action. Oh, we got some food. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I'll be out in a sec. I'm just sending a trade. PBYA holding decently, just nothing huge. You know, it's kind of a weak breakout, not gonna lie. Ooh, they gave me a good exit, 7 2. I'll take that. Nice. So I would have liked a stronger play, but I'm really hungry. <laughs> Literally, sometimes you can leave a trade. I'm out of this trade because I'm hungry. Seriously, if uh, you don't eat, like I've done it, like it happens. 
That was a weak breakout. I got a good exit. I don't know how they gave me 7-2, but I'll take it. Now I'm up like 26, 2700 on the day. Nice. WSRC coming down some more. 21s on SR, WSRC, very nice. Let's see if it can panic more, but I gotta go get some food. I'll be back in like five minutes.